I'll be introducing the recipes for the chin chin. For chin chin this morning, I'll be using bread flour. I'll be using bread flour. Okay, we're using bread flour for yeah, chin chin. For chin chin, I'll be using honey. Honey, wow. White sugar. I'll be using honey. Okay. Then I'll be using cinnamon. Case if you don't have your your nutmeg, okay. the cinnamon. So I'll be using cinnamon. Oh, fantastic. I'll be using sea salt for taste. Okay. Then I'll be using milk. Oh, fantastic. I'll be using milk for our chinchin. So that is all for our chinchin this morning. And this chinchin, I'm going to bake the chinchin in our wonderful Salad Master Healthy Cooking System called the Electric Skillet. That is the bad boy. Uh -huh. So about five cups of this. Okay, about five so cups of that. Yes, yeah. five cups of the parmesan cup. So you can see the measuring cups, the measuring cups. So all you need to do is to try and make sure you get these cups for yes, measuring yes. to get the standard, yes. depending on the quantity you're making. And when you're measuring the flour, you have to be putting the flour this way, okay. not to press that. So you don't allow the flour to sit, because you get more quantity. Yeah, so you just measure like that. Measure right? this way. So we're using about five cups. Yeah, five cups. Okay. And it depends on the quantity you are making. It depends on the quantity that you are making. So this is five cups here. Yeah? yeah, five cups. Measuring yeah. cups. Yeah. So we have about five cups here. Mm -hmm. So because uh, you can use cinnamon if you don't have nutmeg. So I'll be using a little cinnamon because cinnamon has a very strong aroma. Okay. You can see just a little. Just a little cinnamon. So that's that quantity of cinnamon now is not even up to. Uh, it's not, it's just like a pinch. A pinch of yeah, cinnamon. A, pinch, a of cinnamon. pinch of cinnamon for five cups. Mind you, a pinch of cinnamon for five cups of your bread flour. Mm -hmm. So it could be bread flour, it could be almond flour, if you are trying to avoid the normal white flour because of gluten. Okay? And then, by the way, cinnamon actually helps to stabilize the blood sugar. So if you're diabetic and you're scared, cinnamon will actually have to regulate your blood sugar. So for sea salt that I'm using this morning, you use the last of the measuring spoon, the smallest. Okay, so you need to so get your hasn't gone through any form of process at all. It's all in its natural state. But the table salt has gone through different kind of process and has been fortified. So sea salt is very really healthy. So for the honey, for the five cups of uh, uh, bread flour, you need two spoons. I don't want the chin chin to be too sweet. So using two spoon. I mean using a tablespoon. A tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Okay, so for that um, five cups, yes. you get to use two tablespoons of honey. So normally uh, you would rather probably use uh, white sugar or granulated sugar and you know because of health issues people are trying to avoid but we are going to use honey now the thing about honey is this honey is actually um, the glycemic index of honey is medium glycemic index so in a way it still has a way to spike up your blood sugar level but why we prefer to choose honey to the normal white um, sugar is because honey has so much more nutritional benefits there are lots of antioxidants inside honey and there are lots of other medicinal properties you can actually help to stabilize your blood sugar and you're not a blood sugar now your blood pressure so that's why we prefer to use honey um, rather than your normal granulated sugar so we recommend you use honey and then and we're using two tablespoons of honey for about five cups of um, flour now People are meticulous about the use of flour because of some kind of health issue or because they could have gluten. And that's the reason why they are you know, staying away from the normal white flour. So you can still enjoy your chin chin with bread flour like you just did and then almond flour and the likes. Mm -hmm. So I'm using the baking powder. Okay. I'm using baking powder. I'm using this spoon. That's um, the last. The second to the last. Okay. The smallest one. 
So guys, all you need to do is get your measuring cups and your measuring spoons. Put it on a level like this. When you put it, you just use your hand to, to level up. To level up this way. Exactly, to level up. So that's the baking soda. Yeah, the baking soda. That is baking powder. The baking powder. So we have all our dry ingredients together. So I'll be using milk. We add in milk. Okay, so we'll be adding milk. Now, the idea is to use healthy um, recipes, healthy alternative recipes. Okay? So you don't need to use your full cream milk from animal base. You can use your plant-based milk as well. Now, this chin chin is very healthy. People someone with cholesterol can still enjoy this chin chin. But you can use your coconut milk, it's plant-based. You could choose to use your almond milk, and also you could choose to use your tiger nut milk. Now all these are healthy alternative uh, recipes. So what's the next thing? So the next thing is that I'm going to mix the dough. Okay, we have to I'm going mix to mix the, the dough. dough. I don't want it to be too sticky and I don't want it to be too soft or too strong. Okay. So when you notice that it's too hard in your hand, you have to add a little water. So when it's too hard, you add water, just a little. A little water, then continue. So the idea is to knead all of this together. Remember, we have our bread flour. You can choose not to use the white flour, okay? Because the white flour might not be as healthy. And then you might want to stay away from the regular white flour. And that's why we have chosen to use the bread flour. And you could also choose to use your uh, almond flour, which is very healthy. And then you could also choose to use your uh, bread flour, the better substitute. I believe you get what I'm trying to say. And then your milk again is plant based. You could choose to use your coconut milk, your almond milk, or tiger nut milk. And then we have cinnamon in there, about just a pinch of cinnamon. And then we also have uh, sea salt. So this is actually the reason why this is way more healthy than the regular chin chin. Couple with the fact that we are not going to fry this in oil. So, this is really looking nice. Now, the good thing about this, Jessica, is that you have carefully chosen to yes. use better substitutes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so the issue with people and um, the choice of food is because of the health issues they have. Bread flour. So you have the bread flour there. No, this is a bread flour. This is a corn, corn flour. flour. Oh, wow, fantastic. So we're actually using the uh, corn flour. Yes, corn flour, because so, I don't want this thing to be sticking on the shopping board. Okay, okay. So viewers, the reason why we have chosen to use the corn flour on um, the palette is so that it doesn't stick, it doesn't stick on the surface. It's not sticking on my and hands. And it's not exactly. So that's the reason why I just spread your corn flour. And I'm not using a board, a rolling board. I'm going to use my hand. Okay, is there a reason why we have chosen not to use a rolling board? The rolling board is because I don't want it to be too close. You know, I'm, I'm baking, I'm not frying. Okay. Where you are frying, can I use uh, that rolling board okay. or rolling pin? Yeah, I need to say rolling pin to just flatten it. But because I'm baking, you know, it's different from baking and frying. I'm, I'm not going to fry this with this pudding this for you. Wow, so we have the cutter. Yeah, so I'm using so, the cutter. So, so viewers, these are the things you need for your chin chin to make your healthy chin chin. So we use the cutter to just cut them in the shapes and sizes. Depending on the shapes, you can cut them in you know, short, round. Depending on the size you want, know, wow. the shapes you want. Know. Wow, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Guys, the idea behind this is to make sure that you are able to eat what you love to eat the most, but in a very healthy way. And that's why Chef Jessica are taking her time to carefully choosing the better alternative, way more healthy ingredients to do this uh, chin chin. So we have our cutting our chin chin. And the good thing about um, this particular method or this particular style we have carefully chosen to, to bake our chin chin is because we have eliminated oil completely from this. 
no single drop of oil. Before now, I would think that without oil, you can't get your chichi. And that's the reason why people that have health issues and health challenge are staring away from eating chinchin. Someone with high cholesterol, we say, I don't want to eat chinchin because it's going to increase my cholesterol. That's because of the amount of oil in the chinchin. Someone with blood pressure, we say, I don't want to eat chinchin because of the amount of oil. So that's why they refuse to eat chinchin. But this time around, guys, we have carefully chosen better, way more healthy alternative recipes and ingredients. And also, we have chosen not to yeah, fry as the bad boy. Baking paper in there. So I'll be heating this up. Okay. So that's the... Um, at what temperature are we going to be I'm using? going to put it at 230. Wow. Just for 3 minutes to preheat. To preheat. Just 3 minutes. Not so we have the cord from the uh, bad boy. Yes. And we are preheating at 230 degrees. 230. Degrees. Fantastic. Just for three minutes, not to three minutes, then it's ready. So this is it. So I'm going to be baking this chin chin inside the electric skillets. I'm not going to be frying with oil. I'm going to be baking this and it's going to come out crunchy and sweet, yummy. Interesting. I'm excited. I really, really can't wait to, to have a feel of this. And we have our toner. Is that yes, what you're yes, using? Yes, I'm, I'm using the toner, the salad master toner. Oh, yeah. Wow, interesting. Wow. So we have our chin chin. Mm -hmm. Instead of going straight into the oil, yes, so you can around. see that I use the I use the corn flour to dust the chin chin so that it doesn't stick together to be separated once we start baking. Okay. So now the corn flour is actually doing the whole other job. Yeah. So now I'm going to remove the cord again and reduce the heat. I'm going to reduce it to 130. Okay, so we are using 130. To bake the chicken. Then I'm going to totally cover because I'm baking and not frying. When I'm frying, I try to let this way. But because I'm baking, I'm going to cover them totally. Oh wow, fantastic. Yeah. I can feel that. Wow, it's just that this is actually coming through very nice, very nice. I love this. So we allow that to continue baking. We allow that to continue baking. Wow. Is ready, but what we're trying to do is to increase the electric skillet volume down. We're trying to increase that volume down, so we're increasing it from so 130 to 150. 150. 